welcome back to my throne of books my name is Gemma and today we're going to be talking about all of the books I read in January so I had a pretty good reading month in January I did not go below four stars with any of the books that I read this month which is amazing I've read so many great books I did manage to read eight books this month and only one of those eight was from my TBR that's not great. Let's go ahead and see exactly what I did read this month. Now, the first book that I did pick up was Our Dark Duet by V.E. Schwab, and this is the sequel to This Savage Song. Now, as this is a sequel, I can't really give you any, you know, information about this. This Savage Song follows two main characters, who is Augustus and Kate, and they are living in a town called Verity, where monsters have essentially taken over. This I completely loved. This was such a great sequel. It was so good. I connected so well. I got a little bit annoyed when it did come to August in this book, especially at the beginning and most of the way through. His personality changed so much, which I didn't like so much. I did end up giving this a four stars anyway. When Kate came back into the picture, it just reminded me how much I love these two as friends it just made my heart melt a little bit and i completely thoroughly loved this it was so amazing the next book i read this month was the goblet of fire by jk rowling um everybody knows what this is this is a reread for me everybody knows what these are about by now if you don't what is wrong with you seriously read these i've forgotten how much i completely love this series this is one of my all-time favorites i know it's a little cliche to say that harry potter is your favorite but the thing is it is it got me into reading it got so many other people into reading i gave this five stars this is one of my favorites my absolute favorite is actually the poster of azkaban because i love Sirius so much i am rereading all of this series through audio through my library stephen fry is perfect for these. The next book that I read this month was The Northern Light by Philip Pullman. Now, I have tried to read this before. I couldn't seem to get through it physically, so I decided to listen to this on audio and read along with it. Now, that I thought was so much better. I ended up loving this the second time round. I actually finished it the second time round. Now, this is one of my boyfriend's favourites series of all time and now I finally see why I actually ended up giving this this a four stars that's how much I actually really enjoyed this the story and the plot oh my god so we're following in this we are following a girl called Lyris who is just a young girl and she is living in a university where her uncle works and goes for ex ex expeditions one day he comes back to discuss an expedition with the rest of the university. It spirals from there. There is so much in this book that I honestly think, as it's middle grade, I don't think it should be classed as a middle grade read. I definitely think this should be more adult, or at least more young adult, as there is so many complex storylines in this. I did really enjoy this in the end. This is now going to be one of my favourite series. I do need to finish the next two, which is the Subtle Knife and the Amber Spyglass. So that is going to be next on my list to listen to. The next book I read this month was The Order of the Phoenix. Like I said, there's not really much I can say about this. Everybody knows Harry Potter. Everyone who knows the storyline, if you haven't read the book, you've seen the movies. But I gave this a five stars. So the next book I read um, this month was The Near Witch by V.E. Schwab. This one I had quite high hopes for, but I did keep in mind as well that this was V.E. Schwab's debut novel. Now, in this we are following a girl called Lexi and one day a stranger comes to the town of near and on that night children start to disappear now lexi does become 
very attached and very close to the stranger who she names Cole. And it just basically spirals off from there. I did enjoy this, but I did give it the three stars. I felt like it was lacking something. I'm not quite sure what it was lacking though. Also, it says that this is supposed to be a series. Um, I'm not sure about that. I don't think there's any other books out on this. I know this has a short story at the back, which I didn't read. But I read the main main contents of it. I'm not sure. I gave it a three. A three out of five. That, that's all I think I could give this. I'm still going to class V.E. Schwab as one of my favourite authors. But this one I just felt was a little bit lacking than her other work. The next book I read was is considered a modern classic. And that was The Handmaid's Tale by Margaret Atwood. A handmaid. What I, I get from this. I haven't seen... I haven't seen the TV show, I've only read the book. What I have gathered is a handmaid is somebody who stays with a family and she is only there to produce and carry a child. I can't seem to figure out if this is more of a utopian or a dystopian. I still fully don't understand a lot about what happened in this book. This is a book I'm definitely going to have to reread in order to figure out exactly what, what is going on here. But I did end up giving this a four stars as I did enjoy it. I listened to the audiobook while I was reading along with the physical book, which did help in a sense. I do feel like it was very much a character driven novel and not a plot driven novel as a little bit of a plot did come in at the very end let's say i think it was the last 50 pages so i do have the testament to go along with that i'm going to do the same thing with the testament physically reading while i'm listening to the audiobook as i have that on reserve in the library now this is one i will recommend to people definitely i think this is a very important very very important piece of fiction that i believe every every woman should read but it's one you're gonna have to read multiple times in order to figure out exactly what's going on and exactly your thoughts on it the very last book i read this month was the flat chair by beth o'leary i loved this this was such a cute little read i i really did enjoy this so in this book we are following two characters who live in the same flat um now our first character who is tiffy breaks up with her boyfriend and decides to move into a flat share with Leon. So Leon has the flat between 8, I think it's 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. And Tiffy has the flat between the rest of the time. So she gets it during the night time after her day shift and Leon gets it after his night shift. They start leaving little notes for each other and it's really quite sweet. It's really quite cute. It is a very good adult romance. And I don't read a lot of adult romance. This is one of the first ones that I have read. And I actually thoroughly enjoyed it. I really did. This was really sweet. It hit my heartstrings quite well. I do think it deserves the hype. I loved this. I gave it four stars. If you want some adult romance, definitely pick this up. I once again listened to the audiobook while I was physically reading this and I actually really loved that. It was so easy to distinguish between Tiffy and Leon. They had two different actors. It was so, so good. If you do want to pick this up, it does definitely deserve the hype. So please do go and pick it up. Go and give it a read. You will thoroughly enjoy this. I promise you that. So those are all the books that I have read in January. Now I would like to move on to the books that I have started in January and hope to finish soon. So I did once again start The Kids of Deception. I still haven't finished this. I'm still exactly the same amount through as I was in my TBR. But this is a reread for me as I do want to get to the last book in the series, which I haven't done yet. So I would like to get this finished this month. I might dedicate a single day to it and read it in one sitting. If you have been following my vlogs, you know I did start The Ruin of Kings and I'm only about 100 pages in, but this is quite a slow read, I'm afraid. It's very high fantasy, it's a very slow beginning, there's a lot you do have to take in with the world and the characters, but I am enjoying what I have read so far. I do love the aspect of 
the way it has been told. But I do want to finish this as well this month, but I might take my time with it and it may be a little bit longer till I can finish it. And the very last book that I did start in January was Heartstream by Tom Pollock. This I kind of am interesting. It's a little bit out of my comfort zone. It is a bit of a thriller, a bit of a mystery. Uh, kind of, um, it's a bit of a thriller. It's about a an app where you can stream and you have to have like things taped to your head in order to live stream your emotions. This girl, Amy, has been live streaming her mother's illness and her mother has just passed away and she goes home by herself after the funeral but there is somebody in her house waiting for her with a bomb strapped to her. I am only 38 pages into this one but this is one I do want to finish. I am intrigued but it's really out of my comfort zone as I do not read any mystery thriller anything like that so those are all of the books that I have read in January and started in January if you liked these books if you've read these books too leave a comment down below and let me know your thoughts on them but until next time read sweet